welcome back to the Canada Info channel. My name is Wolo. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I am super sorry for disappearing on you guys. The last video I did, I said I was going to do outdoor videos and then I disappeared for almost, this is more than one month and two weeks now running. I've actually not created a video. So I am so sorry. I apologize. It was not planned. Um, lots of things happen behind the scene busy 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 for people who have been chatting me up on my whatsapp of course you guys know i have always been responding saying that i have been very busy this period luckily um it has actually reduced a little bit so i can now have time to start creating videos and the weather is getting better yes which means i'll be going out to do lots of outdoor videos i hope I hope I don't get caught up with work and all that things this period. So yeah, so if you're new to this channel, my name is Wolo and I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I talk about life in Canada and immigrating to Canada. So if you want to have a chat with me, if you want to seek an advice, I will recommend you book a consultation through the website. Um, I've done lots of other several videos about immigrating to Canada. You can check them out. Um, on this channel um, and I try to incorporate some other topics about living in Canada and what newcomers experience and all of that. I was trying to introduce traveling around Canada as one of the topics um, on this channel but because of COVID there's lots of restrictions and I can't travel and let me confess to you guys <laughs> I bought a lot of all these YouTube gears and at the end of the day I I still find myself struggling to use them. So please forgive me. If you don't see me do lo doing lots of outdoor videos, it's because sometimes when I go outside, I just have this like, oh, should I do a video outside? Should people be watching me and all that? So please forgive me. Anyway, I'll try. I'll try. So this is me just trying to let you guys know that um, hopefully I'll start uploading videos from this week. I am so sorry for the long break. I needed it somehow. And somehow, it's not as if I was even resting. I was very busy all through. So I am back and I'll be churning out more content about immigration. I know one of the major things a lot of people are asking is, will the Federal Skilled Workers Program still continue? Will Canada still take people from outside Canada? This one that they've been focusing on people in Canada up to the extent of giving 90,000 spots to people within Canada who just recently graduated and people who have some job offers. Will Canada still bring people from outside Canada this period? I'll tell you for a fact that yes, Canada will still bring people, will still allow people in and lots and lots is going on. There was even a publication that was made recently about increasing the cap and you know the cap for immigration for 2021 is actually 401,000 but the immigration minister mentioned last week you see it on this video where he mentioned that there's a likelihood of him increasing the cap from 401,000 to i don't know there's no indication of how much he's going to increase it and if it's still going to affect people in canada or it's going to affect people outside canada that is what we don't know yet for the federal skilled workers draw, we don't know what's happening, but like I mentioned in one of my videos, last year they started giving out invitations to people outside Canada in July. Yes, it started happening in July. So I don't know whether it's going to happen the same way this year, whether they will start giving people outside Canada um, as from July 2021. But there are still options. There are lots of options people don't know. And the pro provincial nomination program is still there. AIPP is still there. RNIP is still ongoing. Of course, you know AIPP and RNIP requires job search. And for those of you who don't like searching for jobs by yourself and asking me to connect you to jobs, I don't know. <laughs> I've talked, I've talked about it in one of my videos that it requires license. And of course, I don't have that license. That, but in fact, that was the whole topic for another day anyway um i just said let me quickly put this video out there to assure you guys that i'm still around um the busy period has reduced a little bit for me and i'll start 
I'm churning out videos about immigrating to Canada. And if you want to talk to me personally, I'll recommend you book a consultation. I no longer give um, advice through emails. It is better to book a consultation if you want my attention. Yeah, so forgive me for disappearing on you guys. I hope not to disappear again. I am hoping not to disappear again. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Okay, um, before I go, next week, I think it's next week, or this week, Saturday, I hope so, yes, this week, Saturday, I'll be having a YouTube live session. So I want you to join me on that YouTube live. I have a guest that is coming up on my channel and she's a very fantastic lady for everyone who already has immigrated and you need help, maybe coaching, um, adjusting to the workplace and all of that please join the youtube live on saturday i'll be sharing a lot of things with my guests and i'll be asking her lots of questions thank you so much for watching and see you on saturday bye bye